Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. Well, overnight last night into this morning, I think uh, frogs will be taking up residence in some portions yeah, of the valley. No and kidding. More soaking showers and thunderstorms are on their way during the overnight tonight. A few could be severe, but we are really concerned about flooding and a few of us will see some hail yet during the overnight. Here is a look at the latest. There is a severe thunderstorm watch that has been uh, extended really in aerial coverage and time till 2 a.m. for many of our counties. Uh, we see this development out to the west. This all fired up late this evening after what turned out to be quite a pleasant evening and quiet evening for many in the valley. Now rain is moving back through the area we just talked about. Uh, Oaks, Ellendale heading into Sargent and Ransom County. Some very heavy rain and very slow moving thunderstorms working their way eastward. Another line off to the west moving out of the Devil's Lake Basin is causing Again, concerns for some flooding. The areas with the most active lightning right now is where we have the strongest cells. And the hail potential from these, while there is some, it's below the severe criteria, and the severe is deemed to be one inch diameter hail. So most areas will see less than one inch hail, but we will get a few of these storms. Down near Aberdeen is one example, strong storms. Notice the movement of these cells is due east, so this may just clip southern portions of Cass County as it passes into the southern Red River Valley. But Richland County and points west into northeast South Dakota. A rumble of thunder or a dozen over the next few moments. As we look at Grand Forks, we have some very stout thunder shower activity pushing in through central Nelson County. Some new development in Grand Forks County itself. And there's an active flash flood warning in this area from the Devil's Lake area through New Rockford and through much of Nelson County right now. For rain, radar estimates a good two to five inches in spots with more on the way. So flash flooding will certainly be a concern. Never ever try to drive through rapidly moving water. Be extremely cautious if you're traveling pre-dawn uh, in roads you're not familiar with. High standing water can certainly cause a problem. Hail potential, just a little bit of it out there. The strongest, most uh, strong hail producing storm near the Bismarck area. It's moving off to the east towards portions of Kidder County right now. So that's our, our picture as we head to bed tonight. Some strong storms, isolated, severe possible. The gusty winds and a few spots will get hail, but the main threat is going to be the flash flooding potential with the recent rain. 75 for Fargo with 73 in Moorhead. And currently in Grand Forks, we have 74 degrees, cloudy skies. An 11 mile per hour wind out of the east. Everyone in the low to mid 70s right now, with the exception of our far eastern counties where we have Wadena and the Bemidji area in the 60s. Hour by hour forecast shows this continuing to push through through the midnight hour. Fargo's best chance will be in the 11 o'clock hour towards midnight of seeing some rain showers and thunderstorms. And then the second wave pushes through. Grand Forks could see a few rounds of showers and thunderstorms during the overnight hours. This will quickly whip through portions of western Minnesota. Tomorrow morning, a few remnant showers or thunder showers. It does look like our wind will be westerly, light and variable. And temperatures will still be warm in the southern counties. We're expecting 80s with a few 70s up north for your afternoon with more passing showers, not expecting severe weather. So a lot quieter Thursday, but wet weather overnight with local locations picking up one to three inches of additional rainfall from tonight's overnight thunderstorm activity. We could rise and shine with a few showers or thunderstorms in the area, warming up to 80 in Fargo. Your hometown forecast shows most of us in the 80s, a few 70s out there, though, for a quieter close to the work week. As we get closer to the end of the week, maybe you'll get to see a scene like this. Erica uploading that photo. Your seven-day forecast shows real quiet Friday weather, 78 degrees. A great weekend. Temperatures near seasonable for this time of year and dry and quiet into next week with only isolated storm chances. Quiet and dry. Who doesn't like that? Uh, two words that uh, the storm team will be glad to hear for a lot. <laughs> and uh, who doesn't like cookies? I like cookies. I do too. Everybody does. A new Girl Scout cookie flavor has been released. We'll tell you what it is later on Valley News Live 10 at 10. But first, where you can get trusted information online from healthcare experts.